Hi, and welcome back. This is White Armor Consulting, and today I'm going to show you how to do parental control for the internet. This tutorial will show you how to filter and block websites on your entire network. You'll be able to block categories like pornography, adult themes, and even social networking. This will apply to every device, whether it's on Wi-Fi or connected directly to your router. Please make sure to first watch my other video called How to Secure Home Network Using OpenDNS before moving forward with this video. I'll link the video in the description for your reference. After you've watched that video, then please continue with this one. Let's begin. Open up your favorite browser. And then you're going to go to the search bar and you're going to type in OpenDNS and hit enter. From here, you're going to look for HTTPS www.opendns.com and you're going to look for consumer, learn more. Now this is assuming you've already configured your router from the previous video I created. Then you're going to click under open DNS home, sign up. From here, you're going to fill out this information and click get a free account. They're going to send you an email and you have to confirm your email address and then you're done this step of the setup process. So from here, you're gonna go up to the search bar and you know your account's been created, you verified it. Go to the search bar again and you're gonna type in open DNS login. You're gonna look for HTTPS login.opendns.com and click that link. When you see this window, you're gonna use that same account you just verified to log in. When you log in and you see this window, you're now on the right path. And then we're going to now start configuring. So first, just head over to settings. It's going to fill in the IP address that you get from your internet service provider automatically. At the top, it also shows you that same IP to let you know if it's changed or not. I'm going to show you a little bit later in the video what happens, um, uh, what you can do to make sure that if this IP does change, because it will, if you unless you have a static IP, um, you can run a program that will update it automatically. But for now, we're just gonna add this network. You're gonna call it home. And before you hit done, that program that I was talking about, just go ahead and click this link if you're Windows. And if you're Mac, click this link. And we're gonna just download it. Uh, and I'll show you how to use it at the end of the video. So for now, just type in home, download that program, make sure it says yes, it's dynamic and click done. When you see this window, you've now successfully configured your network to work with OpenDNS and then you can now set categories and web pages to be blocked or even allowed. So just go ahead and click select a network, click the IP address that is yours. From here, I'm gonna go through each um, section on the left and then I'm gonna also show you how to customize and what the low moderate and high actually mean so for now we're just going to go um, through the different sections and then i'll kind of come back to web content filtering at the end so first go to security make sure malware and botnet protections enabled phishing protection is enabled and also suspicious responses make sure that's enabled and click apply go to customization you don't need to do anything here unless when people get blocked um, from your categories, you can then change the block page to say either an email address that they can contact or a phone number that they can contact. If you're running an Airbnb and you provide internet and you don't want them going over the bandwidth, you can put um, some information here if you want them to contact you um, in the block page. If you don't want anything, you just want a normal uh, open DNS block page, which I'll show you what that looks like. You just leave it as no custom, no custom and hit apply. Going lower, stats and logs. Make sure if you want to see the logs where people are getting blocked, make sure you enable this and hit apply. But remember that OpenDNS is now collecting the information from your home network. If you don't want that, just uncheck, hit apply, and then say purge my data. But if you want to see where people are going and especially your kids and you want to block those domains or those URLs, um, you need to have this on and hit apply and then under stats you'll be able to see where they're going and then you can go into web content filtering and block it. I'll show you how to do that a little later. Then go to advanced settings, 
Make sure dynamic IP update is turned on and hit apply. So that's it for the configuration. Under my account, just go through my, uh, my account on your own. Make sure you fill all this information out. It's pretty self-explanatory. You don't need me to explain that. Under stats, because I've enabled logging, this is what it'll look like. You'll get total request, total unique domains, unique IPs, domains, block domains, and request types. So under each of these, as you start surfing, you'll, they'll start filling out information and you'll be able to use it to help you protect your network a bit better. For now, we're just going to go back to settings and I'm going to show you how to actually enable content filtering to block kids from the bad stuff um, or to control your bandwidth. So from here, you can go ahead. If you want to make it easy, you can just say, I want to block high. And what it does is 28 categories are in this group. If you want to know what those categories are, you can click view and it shows you all the categories that it would block. If this is something that you want, um, to make it easy, you can just click high, hit apply, and you're done. You wait three minutes and your DNS will then, uh, open DNS will then start blocking those categories for you. You can customize each of these categories, high, moderate, and low, by clicking customize. You can alter it. I don't advise that. What I advise doing is if you want, just leave it, these alone and just come to customize. And then you'll see here, you can then customize everything on your own. So you normally should have custom as blank. We'll say none, apply, custom, and you'll see that there's nothing there. So what I would advise is go through each of these categories, turning the ones that you don't want on. So as an example, I'm just gonna say pornography and social networking just to show you what happens. So I'm gonna hit apply. and then allow three minutes for your preferences to be pushed to all the servers. Now, if you know of a website, while we wait, if you know of a website that you wanna block immediately and you don't want your kids going to it, you can enter it here. So manage individual domains, always block and never block. So if you want your kids to always be able to get to, I'm just gonna use this as an example, cnn.com, you would say never block cnn.com, add domain, and then that will never be blocked even if you have the categories blocked. If on the other hand, you want to say always block, let's say youtube.com, what will happen is when you click add domain, it'll give you two options. So you can block it two different ways. You can block just youtube.com, the individual domain, or I'd rather block categories of websites that include youtube.com. So you can click this and there's video sharing. So that tells you that that's the category if you want to block YouTube. If you want just this website, because you know it's bad and you don't want your kids going there or you don't want uh, people streaming you can just click youtube.com confirm it and now youtube.com is always blocked so in three minutes if i try to go to youtube.com it should be denied right now it's allowed because you gotta wait three minutes for the settings to take effect from here that's pretty much it um, go through the categories wait three minutes and then make sure that they're blocked. If it doesn't um, work in three minutes, just wait a little bit longer. Sometimes it takes a bit longer for the categories to be blocked. Um, now we're gonna go back to just the, uh, to the in case your IP changes. So that program I had you download. So just go to where you downloaded the file, open DNS-updater, and you're going to Right click and run as administrator and put in your administrator password and install the program. When it installs, it'll you'll see a little O at the bottom right hand side. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna log in using your open DNS account, the one that you created, and it'll look just like this. And you'll sign in and then it will update. You can say change network, but because we only have one, It'll show home as home and then the IP. And then basically this will, this having this program running, it will make sure that this IP is always kept up to date. So if it changes, this program will change it to what it needs to be. Then just make sure you click settings and just make sure you turn on send DNS omatic updates and hit okay. And then you can just minimize. Now, remember the changes we made, we blocked some social networking and pornography. So I'm going to show you now it's been about three minutes. 
if you look, you'll now see errors like this. So basically, you won't be able to get to social networking sites. They no longer will work. Okay, let's see uh, LinkedIn.com. So everything's broken. See? And there's even a block page if you try to go to it. So if you want to change the display settings to make sure, like, uh, or if you want to customize this block page, you just go to customize and then you can customize the block page. So you can add your email address if you like. It says info. I should, I don't think I saved it. But if you do change these settings and then you try to go back, it should show up. After a while, I think it takes a second for it to actually display this information. So it'll say this site is not allowed and then it'll show my email address. I don't mind having the normal block page, so I'm just going to leave it as is. And that's everything. That's everything to do with uh, OpenDNS. If you want to protect your kids, this is the best way to do it. Um, if you have any questions about this tutorial or it doesn't seem to work for you, let me know in the comments below. I'll be glad to help. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for future security videos. Thanks and take care.